One of the really fun stories coming out of Sunday's preseason game against the Raiders is the emergence of rookie fifth-round pick running back Ty Chandler. He came in, was explosive, and did fantastic things for the Vikings, both uh, on the ground as well as uh, on a really nice kick return as well. He had five carries for 50 yards, uh, averaging 10 yards a carry, as well as he returned a kick for 56 yards. And on a day when the Vikings' return game uh, wasn't great, both for kick and punt, Ty Chandler definitely stood out, uh, as well as you saw the burst. You saw the vision. You saw the patience. And he really was a kick in the pants uh, for the Vikings running game. Got things going. Uh, and he greatly benefited from a great offensive line with the second team unit. Ben Ellison had some nice blocks out there. Kellen Mond's mobility definitely distracts uh, the defense as they have to hold their uh, gap responsibility for an extra second. But also Ty Chandler is just that dude. And the nickname for Ty Chandler coming out uh, of the draft uh, was Baby Kamara, a.k.a. Alvin Kamara, uh, running back for the uh, Stupid North. Orleans Saints, uh, but he spent his time at Tennessee, just like Ty Chandler did his first four seasons of college before moving on to UNC, and the and the comparisons are certainly there. I think that he's a fun, versatile running back. Uh, I think that he runs with a little bit more power than he's given credit for. And I think that he certainly could be an asset uh, for the Vikings running game going forward. Now, I'm not ready to say trade Dalvin, trade Madison, and roll with King Kenny and Ty Chandler, but... We're not too far off because, like we mentioned, uh, Madison is in the final year of his rookie deal. Dalvin, I love him to death, but you know, running back, shelf life is what it is. And maybe the Vikings move on from both this offseason. Madison free agency, Dalvin either cut or traded. And then it's King Kenne and Ty Chandler show, Woo! which I wouldn't necessarily be mad about. I, I, I wouldn't. Let's talk about Ty Chandler today. Background, 23 years young, 5'11", 204, former four-star recruit uh, from Nashville, Tennessee. Stayed in state, Knoxville, his first four seasons. Uh, ran for 2,046 yards as well as 13 touchdowns over four seasons uh, for the Orange. Uh, then transferred uh, to UNC in 2021. Ran for 1,092 yards, 13 touchdowns, six yards per carry. Insane explosiveness. Also caught 15 balls for 216 and a tutty. I uh, recorded an 85 5.9 PFF grade for his loan season in Chapel Hill. Uh, testing wise, uh, he had a really nice RAS score, 8.7, ran a 4.3840. Tested sorry, okay everywhere else, uh, but he was phenomenal. I think the Vikings certainly got a steal uh, picking him up in, in the fifth round, pick 169 overall. Nice. Uh, and I, I do think that he does have a chance to uh, ascend up this depth chart uh, where I, I think that he will be conjoined with uh, King Kenny and Wangu, uh, another uh, another value in the draft who's got great explosiveness, also is phenomenal ki uh, returning kick. So uh, I do think that it doesn't shake things up this year because, you know, Dalvin is still the man. He's the man. He's the man. But with Dalvin's durability issues, knocking on all the wood, of course, but maybe it could open some things up. And we've said, like, King Kenne should have a role in this offense. And maybe Ty Chandler is just going to force his way in there because I, I do think that Ty Chandler, uh, he was a solid uh, pass blocking back uh, in college. Now he's going to need some polish in the National Football League because, because it's a little different, you know, picking up protections and picking up blitzers, et cetera. But. I think that he can be, you know, that third down scat back and more of a passing offense as opposed to, you know, checking it down on third and nine. You're going downtown or you're using Ty Chandler as an actual uh, wide receiver just coming out of the backfield and line up in the slot or out wide. You would absolutely love and adore uh, seeing that. Now, we're going to expand on a, a theory coming up here, but the Vikings do have the deepest running back room in the National Football League. Could they trade Alexander Madison? who is out of contract after the season, probably going to leave in free agency to find some running back one work. And if a team has a need of running back, maybe they have a center that's expendable. I mean, we're, we're just going nuts, man. We're absolutely going nuts. But I love me some Ty Chandler. I, I thought that he was underrated and uh, really slept on during his, his uh, training camp where whenever he was on the field, he made some nice plays. And now uh, all Vikings fans saw it up close and personal, up against the Raiders, running through giant holes, but also uh, making defenders miss, which is fantastic for a running back. And also he can add a little something, something on special teams. And hell, they should put him in the punt return derby as well since uh, Jalen Naylor and ISM uh, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. But either way, phenomenal debut for Ty Chandler, and I think that he could be a contributor for the Vikings for the next couple of years. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. A rookie Ty Chandler really shows up and shows out against the Raiders. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.